want to go on the extreme water slides, like, where and why education and funds, we want to go on the high slides. Um, prices for the day are $48 plus snacks, and children two years and under are free. Their hours are mainly from 10.30 to 3.30, throughout the months, but they also had it open from 10.30 to 9 at night, but that's only for a couple times in we also host parties of that kind and cater to your event, and you can have as many people as just 100 or to 3,000 people for your special event. They will help you throughout the whole thing so you can have the best party ever at the Lafayette Mile. Why? All right. Um, the next place that we are going to go for shopping is the Pearl Ridge Center. It's the biggest shopping center in, I don't know how to say that first word, but one with white. Um, it, it has more than 170 stores in there. It was built in 1972 and is one million square or one, <laughs> one million square feet. Um, there's two shopping centers and you can take a guy to grab between the two centers. And between the two centers is a Sabuka farm. Can you explain? Um, at the Kuru shopping center, they have two food courts, um, 12 for Full service restaurants, a new golf course, uh, and two <laughs> 16 feet, and an emergency clinic, and eight story <laughs> Um, Customers can enjoy the ride between the two on um, the track, and during the ride, they can enjoy, enjoy the view of the historic Pearl Harbor and the Arizona Memorial. Um, the only Tours R Us is in the Forward Center in Wahoo <laughs> Um, the stores have, like, or the Forward Center has stores like, like Macy's, um, Sears, American Eagle Outfitters, and, like, Slurries, Tuxedos, Middle. That's what it looks like on the outside. Um, that's one of the theaters. So on your trip to Hawaii, I will be at Hawaii. Hawaii. You can go to the shopping, you can go to the theme park, you can go have amazing meals. Can I say it live? 
Why'd you make that? I can't say shit. Oh, I was trying to get gas. I'll we'll never let you out. Decker. How is it so far? <laughs> Does it have anything that was in the book? Does it have anything that was in the book? She would look at me, though. Oh. You only got 99%. Are you serious?
New York, but it, yeah, just went over quite a way, quite a while. That's coming up right now. I'm trying to wrap that up. Um, and then here are some pictures I think I got to of the damage to the, the plane because when the plane hit the bridge and then hit the water, it Boom. broke into sections. Um, and then we talked about an interview with uh, Kelly Duncan here, one of the um, flight attendants, and her. Uh, experience and what she knows she was the only crew member to survive and there she was being carried uh, away um, by a, a helicopter and they had to uh, lift people out and I think we got this far for sure last week correct me if I'm wrong um, and we mentioned the plane survivors who they were and um, probably uh, the most heartbreaking was Priscilla Tirado here, who was on the plane with her baby and her husband, and then neither of them uh, survived. Uh, and we mentioned Arlen Williams, who kept passing the 